Hi guys, this is a first look and brief comparison of my new Tubus Logo Evo rack to my old Sunlight rack. So price-wise, this one's really expensive, this one's really cheap. Weight-wise, this one's very light, this one's noticeably heavier. This, I don't have the mounting hardware on it, but it's still going to be lighter than this. And then strength-wise, this is rated to carry 88 pounds. This is certified to carry 55 pounds of luggage. So this is probably about half the weight and twice the carrying capacity in terms of weight. And then shock absorbing properties wise, this is designed to absorb shock so your, your luggage doesn't rattle around. This, as far as I'm aware, is not. The geometry wise, this has two racks. It has the upper rack, or the lower rack, I mean, and then there's the upper rack right here. So you can hang your panniers from the lower rack and the upper rack. There's an advantage of this is that the lower rack, if you hang your panniers from there, it lowers the center of gravity, which makes your bike more stable. It also lets you hang your panniers farther back if you want to carry larger panniers so they don't interfere with your feet when you're pedaling. And also, you can have something strapped to the upper rack and still easily mount and unmount your panniers without having to take off whatever is mounted on the upper rack. So you can have a basket mounted or a yoga mat or whatever and remove your uh, panniers. Then uh, geometry wise continued um, trying to angle. I'm not very good at this angling thing. I need to practice it. Uh, uh, there's two bends right here near where the rack mounts to the bottom rack of the bicycle. This bend and this bend. I believe that out acts as shock absorbing properties. And then you have this hole which is for a hook for panniers with stretchy hooks and it might also be designed for shock absorbing properties, I don't know. Then this metal is quite flexible. So if we do this, you can definitely see that it, it flexes. I pull this, I don't know if you can see on camera, but I can definitely feel that this metal is flexy. So that probably has really nice shock absorbing properties. More geometry wise, it's flat on the top. I'll talk more about that in a second. And there's a mount for a rear taillight. And so that's an overview of my new Tubus rack. Then, if we compare that to my old Sunlight rack, this thing, it's still a pretty good design. And this actually has a platform on the top, which is of a lot of practical value in eating snacks or mixing drinks or just a little platform to set stuff, such as your helmet or whatever when you're taking a break. Though this is very stiff and it's not bendy. And if we look at the tube diameter, um, this has very fat tubes. And I don't know what the metal alloy is. I think it's aluminum, but I'm not sure. But it's definitely very stiff. If we look at this tube diameter wise, these tubes are extremely thin. I don't know how good you can see it on camera, but they're very thin. <clears throat> and then this is also has more of like a triangular profile, which probably aids in uh, some minor amounts of sh shock absorbing. Where this, it's just basically vertical. Uh, and then this has these curves at the top, which if you want to put a yoga mat on here to go to yoga class, these you can't you can't mount the yoga mat flush. It's kind of like you're bending the yoga mat, which isn't that big of a deal, but something I noticed. And also this rack, which is happens to be made by Sunlight, doesn't fit quite flush on here between these two bend ups. I don't know if you can see it. It's like almost flush, but but it's like it's not sitting flush. And so then you can use these hardwares and screw it on. It's not going anywhere but their Sunlight's own basket doesn't mount flush to their this rack they sell. They sell several different racks, but at least to this Sunlight Touring whatever rack, the basket doesn't work super flawlessly with. Um, and this does not have a lower rack, so another a problem I had is I could put my panniers on and then mount this basket to it, but then I couldn't remove my panniers without removing the basket, which is a uh, it was kind of annoying. Or the same thing with a yoga mat. Well, kind of. Depends how you want the yoga mat. But basically, 
it's hard to use the panniers and mount something to the top simultaneously because typically you have to remove whatever is strapped to the top before you can access your panniers because you're it's strapped to the top smashing your pannier hooks over so uh but anyways this rack is cheap it works very good this is very stiff and then geometry wise there's no curve between where it mounts to the bottom bracket it's just a dead straight line which I'm assuming transmits a lot of um, shock when you go over bumps and stuff so this does not have the shock absorbing geometry that's built into this and that's a brief overview I'm gonna go install it on my bikes test it out for a couple months and then probably look back at it then see how it's working bye